Okay. Access the device. Remember your static IP address. Username, password. Okay. First of all, verify the connectivity to internet. Success. Control C to stop. And sudo apt update to update repositories. Now install Apache Apache two. Yes. Okay, verify the status sudo system CDL system CDL status Apache 2. Okay, it's active and running. Q. Okay, uh, from the client verify. Success. Now install MySQL Server and MySQL Client. Yes. Okay, set the root password for my SQL and repeat. Okay, verify sudo system CTL status my SQL active and running. Verify my SQL. Uh, the user is the root. The host is local host. And uh, use a password. Enter the my SQL root password and success. Okay. Show the databases. Very good. Exit. Now install. PHP. Okay, now install PHP. Okay, seven dot zero and the module to connect to my SQL Server. The module to connect Apache 2. Another modules. Okay, dash J song enter. Yes.
Okay, now verify PHP, create a new file on this directory, sudo bim is the text editor, uh, bar triple w html, html, and here create a file called test.php, enter. Okay, I key to insert. Okay, you will see the insert mode and create your script. A very simple script. Okay, that is enough. Escape key, column, right and quit, enter. And also, you can see the PHP version. Okay, the version is 7.0.33. And verify the PHP test file. Test.php. Okay, success. For example, enter my SQL with the user root, host, local host, and password. Enter your MySQL root password. Uh, create a new database, for example, call it test1, verify, show databases, ok, success, use this new database, And now you can create a table. Create table, for example, call it table number one. Create an ID, um, char one, name, bar char, length 32, okay. Enter. Okay. Okay. For example, insert into table one these values. For example, one and and, and this name. Okay. You can insert another row with this another name. Enter. Okay. Now verify. Select all fields from table number one. Okay, two rows inserted, ID field, name field. Also, you can verify the columns created, show columns from table one. Now you can see the fields, ID and name. Uh, these are the columns. This is the type. Okay. And then exit. 
Okay, in my SQL database, you can create a user to use the created, the previously created uh, database. Okay, so access my SQL using the user root, the host, local host, and user password. Enter the root my SQL password and uh, create the user. Okay, okay, and use this command grant all on test one this is the database name and for all the tables okay Okay, grant all privileges on database call it test one for all the for all the tables in that database to the user call it PHP user on the local host identified by this password. This user will be used to connect PHP to MySQL database. Okay, but be careful here uh, is identify it. Okay. Enter. Okay. Okay, the the user was created successfully okay exit and now create a script to connect PHP with MySQL for example use the pseudo privileges with the beam editor bar triple w html directory and create this new file php to mysql that php okay enter i key to insert and you will see this insert message you are insert mode and add the following the following the following lines Okay, this is script, uh, start HTML, start body, start PHP script, the name of database on this variable, the username on this variable, the password for the user on this variable, and the local host, connect variable, and uh, MySQL connect using host, user, password, and database name. If not connect, show this error message and exit the script. If connects, uh, show this uh, message, connection success. The query will be select ID and name from table number one. And the result is the query using the connect variable and the query variable. Okay, and finally show the the rows on the from the table. Okay, the ID and the name, escape key, column WQ. and php to mysql.php okay connection success message and you will see the rows from the table okay so it's working very well
Thank you very much.